Should I just keep the same bit of paper for the whole advent calendar? Hello gang, hello friends, <laughs> hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff. And the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. Yeah. Today it is day. Open the box and see. I'm so out of sync. I don't know where I am, what I'm doing. Today is day 15 of the Madame Glam advent calendar and our advent accent adventure. So let's open box number 15 and see what is inside. Mm, it's long. It's... Oh, come the fuck on, Bridget. It's a brush. What brush is it? I don't know. <laughs> It is a Madame Glam brush. It is the Ultra Liner. So I thought, let's do the whole video with just this brush. It looks like this. Focus. Talking to you, focus. <laughs> Can we do thick lines? Can we do thin lines? Can we do big detail? Can we do tiny detail? Let's find out. When I'm using any brush, I will always put the little recovery bit um, in the lid, not firmly so it's stuck but just so I don't lose it. Just a little useless factoid for you. So we're going to start with this which is Grand Canyon and we're also going to be using Nordic Bliss which is from this advent calendar on the 12th I think and I'm obsessed with this green now, I love it. And we're also going to use their gold gel paint because look at, ah, oh, <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. It needs a stir. So I will stir it before using it. So we're going to start because we're going to only use this brush for the whole set, for the whole two nails. <laughs> it's half a nail short of half a set. So we're going to decant the colors and then we can pick them up with the brush. I'm going to prep my brush just by twisting it in some isopropyl alcohol and giving it a little wiggle. You'll see there's red on there because I forgot to do this. went to draw a stripe and it was all it needed. It needed this doing to it. Just it was a bit stiff. So now it's been prepped which takes like two seconds and we're going to do lots of stripes. You know when I get one of their monthly collections and often I will hiccup in the middle of a sentence often I will do one nail just stripes with all the colors and I thought how nice will red green and sparkly gold look just striped all over the nail not candy stripes not a thick one then a thin one or this and the other just relatively the same thickness I can't guarantee they're all going to be the same thickness um stripes over that just covering the whole nail I think it'll look really cool and when we the blingy um nails I did the other day the greens with the red and the gold I just I love it it's classic Christmas so this brush brush is just absolutely brilliant I love it you'll understand why by the time we get to the end of the video it's giving me perfect lines I mean, a lot of what you're doing with nails, a lot of it is going to be down to the tools you're using, but then also a lot of it is, you know, you. But you can be the best you when it comes to nail art if you have the right tools. And this brush is, I just love it. I mean, I'm getting nice straight lines. I'm getting thick straight lines if I put pressure down. Which is obviously the same with any brush, but it's quite, I don't know how to describe the bristles. They're thin, but they're all so thick. That makes no sense. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I'm really sorry. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> Goodbye. Good day. Merry Christmas. It's just, when you do put pressure down, it really does splay out and you haven't got just a few bristles splaying out. It seems to, when you put pressure down, it seems to kind of, 
have more. But when you don't put pressure down, it's really how does it how does it be skinny, but also be thick and full? You know, skinny and full, and then thick and full. I don't know. It's just great. So uh, that was my professional review of these bristles. <laughs> so I'm going to just cover this nail in stripes. Obviously, I cured the red stripes before going in with the green, and then. I am going to take the gold. Oh, I've given it a stir. And would you just stop it with their gold gel paint? The silver one's just as bonkers. I love it so much. It's so opaque. And the thing I like about these brushes as well, is I've got all their br brushes, 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 is now I've forgotten what, what the thing was. Yes. You can put a lot of product in them and it kind of, it holds it. So it only deposits it when you are, no, this makes no sense. When I'm telling my brain, right, put more here. And obviously that transfers to my hand. It does it, but it seems to just go a long way in this brush. It can store a lot. Uh, I'm done. So I'm going to, I've done a second coat on the green just because the green wasn't as opaque as the gold and the red but I haven't done a second coat on the gold gel paint because look how freaky it's so opaque and I don't think it's got a I don't know if it's got a base color or not it just seems to be just glitter and it's still super opaque so now we're going to stop talking about the brush itself okay thanks I'm going to do a little star so we can do little detail. We do do even litter, little, la la la, smaller detail on the next nail. So I was just putting it to the test, really. Can you do thick and thin? Can you do big and small? And the brush answered and it said, yes, yes, I can. So we'll do a couple of stars. I was thinking just stars and then added we got a snowflake we got a couple of snowflakes in of course and you'll see on i'm about to talk about the brush again oh dear wish me luck the you will see on the very very tip of the brush there's like one little bit that sticks out further one little bristle so you can get a really fine line using you can't see it at the moment but there is one point in the video where I think you, you can see it a bit more clear you um so you can the lighter the pressure like here I'm doing a very very light pressure very light um to get this thin line but because of that one little bristle at the end you can just go super duper thin we've done a snowflake dots and pull them through and I'm just going to redot the where the dots were because I kind of lost them and these brushes I've, I think I've mentioned this before you know when you want to do a dot on the nail and so you get a tiny bit of product on your brush but then by the time you've moved your brush from dipping it into the product and over to the nail the tiny bit that you've put on has kind of worked its way up the brush the bristles a bit so you can't dot you have this bead just sitting above the tip of the bristles and it's a real pain in the behind these don't seem to do that look I don't have to keep going back and trying to get the bead and rushing to the nail so it hasn't worked its way it just stays on the end of the brush so we can dot and that is a big deal for me <laughs> so that's the first one did I say that we topped after doing the stripes we did um, and then I used the gel paint, the white was the gel paint, so that doesn't need topping and I've put that on top of the top coat. I'm rushing because I've got a client in a minute and I thought, can I squeeze in a cheeky voiceover? And now we're going to use the same brush. Again, we're using it for everything on this in this video. And I'm going to do diagonals, squares. <laughs> in red sometimes when I'm going back over the video after I've done the voiceover I think of what it's easier to think of what I want to say when I'm not actually speaking 
so we're going to do a square on the top left and then diagonal the same color and then the others the gaps oh god that's it power down the gaps are going to be green but we'll cure the red first i kind of mess up where they join in the middle here and i i think i do rectify it a little bit but um it's not that big a deal because we are going to paint over the center so don't stress don't stress about it it's fine so we will cure that and so again let's go back to talking about the brush but you see how i got the thin line on the snowflake and i'll do something tiny with it in a minute but it still fills out this block quicker than a quicker than the other other brushes i've got that are this length and this sort of thickness because they they take ages to fill out a bit like this but this one i don't know how it i don't know how it's witchcraft you know it's thick and bushy but still when you want it to be it's super thin anyway so it's filling in these gaps really quickly and a lot of time when you're doing designs that you've got a big chunk of color on the nail and it's too small to use the bottle brush but it's too big so you don't want to spend ages using a detail brush to fill in this is just doing it with just quickly and oh uh, yeah now i have wiped and buffed because for the sole reason that i couldn't see what i was doing this glitter this gel paint is so shiny and reflective and bright that putting it on the shiny colors I just couldn't see what I was doing. It was just too many light lines and just rah. So I wiped and buffed. I didn't top before doing that. I just wiped and buffed those color coats. And we're going to do a thickish cross along the middle. Did want to do a bow, but I want I would have done it in gold. And it just, I don't know, it didn't didn't sit well with me. So then I tried doing it in white a bow in white and kind of adding another cross um where the gold one is in white but the gold is just so reflective and shiny that couldn't really see anything on it so this bow doesn't have this bow this nail doesn't have a bow um this person's on the naughty list so their present doesn't get a bow and then we're going to do another little snowflake just with three dots and then two either side in the middle of the three dots, but to the side. And then just pull through with a very light touch. You see, I'm resting my pinky on my other hand. I'm not pressing, I'm not putting any weight on the hand that's got the brush in it. I'm not resting it down. It's I'm holding it up aloft and light and airy, just so that airy, it's not airy, it's just light so that we aren't putting pressure on the brush and we can get nice thin lines. And then we'll add, oh my God, why can't I breathe? Because I haven't shut up. We're going to add another star and then we're going to do some teeny tiny stars. This one here, so small that it's kind of done at that point, but we will just join the um, points up a little bit. And then the same down here. I think you can see here, There's a t the brush is a tiny bit thinner at the very, very tip. So because I'm not putting any pressure down, it's almost just touching the nail to draw these lines, um, that we are getting tiny detail and tiny points with the same brush that was bushy and thick to fill out these squares we've got here and did it quickly. You know, it's magical. And then some dots. Can't forget the dots. And then, then we're done. We're done. I will put the flash on in a sec so you can see. It's super sparkly without the flash. Look at that gold. It's amazing. And that is that. I hope you like them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think of this brush? If you've got the advent calendar, have you tried it yet? I suggest you do. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you being here so, so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. -bye.